Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today for the Creating Kindness blog hop, I have made this theater card, uh, Barn Door Over the Moon, and I'm going to show you how I've done this. So let me set this aside, and we'll get to creating. For this card, I'm going to be using the Barn Door stamp set and Over the Moon. Let's set these aside. I have already used the uh, door stamp in the Barn Door stamp set um, with Memento ink on my Real Red cardstock, and I've got my white Stampin' chalk marker here, and I'm just going to color in the crossbar here. Now, fair warning, my white Stampin' Chalk marker is on the drier side. Anybody guess what's on my next order? So I am not going to take your time and color all of this in uh, on camera. I'll show you my finished one and then finish that off camera. Next, let's do a little stamping. I've got a sentiment and two of the cows and then the little bubble heart. So let's put all of these guys on here. And I love this little I find him very amusing, this little splatted cow. I'm thinking right now many of us may feel like this little splatted cow some days. Okay, and one more. Let's go ahead and get our sentiment stamped. And then I have some of my Stampin' Blends here. I'm going to make my cows uh, black and white. And so I've got the dark basic black Stampin' Blends to color in my cow spots. And Let's got a light smoky slate here. Just want to give a little bit of shading on the hooves. So I'm going to blend out the that black. Let's give it a touch more over here. And the same thing. On this one, we're going to be darker on the lower half and shade this. Okay, and I did actually go online and look at pictures because I thought, what do cow ears look like? And because often um, animals have lighter colors on the inside of their ears and cows don't really on most of the cows that I looked at. Let's start with, so I'm just going to alternate between uh, the light smoky slate and, and the black just to give a little bit of, of color variation here. And let's go over to this guy. color in his spots, and the same thing, we'll give his hooves a little bit of color here. Do you turn your paper as you color? I always do. Somehow it uh, makes a difference in, in coloring. 
for me. And let's get a little bit in here. Okay, and let's see if I've missed any spots. I feel like we need to give their hair, this little forelock, a little different color. So I'm going to just dot in a little bit of black and then blend it lightly. And same thing. I'm going to start in the middle for this one. And forgot ears over here. Okay. And then let's pop these down. Oh, silly me. Look at me mi totally missing some of the spots on this cow. And this one's going to be a gray spot around the eye or we would totally miss it. And then I'm just going to come in with this light petal pink. And give some kind of splotchy around that. Okay. Now let's see. Cap a couple of these and move them out of the way. And let's color this daisy over here. This one's going to have bright yellow flowers and a white center. And then we're just making this very simple with the coloring and go with some yellow boots. And I want the bullet tip for the granny apple green. And let's see if I can come in and get this little bit here at the bottom to oh and I forgot the bell over here on this guy okay. and I see I missed this one's tail I'm telling you I and the tail over here. So I am using the black and the gray on the tail just to give a little variation. Okay, so that's all the coloring I'm going to do for those guys. And then up here on my heart, I'm going to dot in a little bit of the real red dark on one side and then I'm going to blend it out with the light real red. Okay. 
Okay. So let me take my scissors and cut these pieces out and I will be right back. Okay, one more detail. I've got my Pinewood Planks uh, 3D embossing folder and a piece of real red and we're just going to take the memento pad and rub it all over the inside here and then place our cardstock inside and do a quick dry fit here and make sure okay I have not inked far enough down here and you want to rub the pad on the raised portion now I am going to take this and run it through my die cutting machine so that we transfer the ink to the cardstock and now we're ready to assemble so here's that piece of real red it's been run through with the embossing folder to transfer the planks and then I've cut out the hole with a stitched rectangle die I've got the back of my card here and a piece of the pressed petals uh, designer paper we want the wood grain up you can find a link in the description below for all of the basics on putting this card together uh, so that you can make the theater card okay and then I'm going to slide my little wings here into this back piece okay now that we've got that in place I can tell where my cowl needs to sit inside here so I've got my two doors that we colored my cows and my sentiment I want to keep my doors on opposite sides here so that when I put them together I've got them facing properly and then I've got dimensionals so we're going to add a couple of dimensionals on the back of my little splatted cow and I want him just sitting right inside there at the back and Oops, one dimensional too many. And make sure that that's down low enough. Okay, so let's move on to the outside. I'm also going to use dimensionals generously along this leading edge. Oops, one of them's already peeled itself for me. Thank you. And then this one. Oops. Okay, so a little different from the, oops. Looking at this now, we'll put these here. Well, we may not use these at all. Sorry, I'm looking at my card here and realizing I'm going to create a problem. Oops, they don't want to come off my fingers. Okay, so let's put this together. And I'm just going to set that there for the moment. Same thing, I need to peel these off. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, how about I be smart? There we go. Okay, so let's press this together. And we're going to 
come there. Okay. So they're together. And then our barn doors will open up on the outside. And then let's use some of these dimensionals I just set over here. And our other cow. is going to be on the outside okay yeah just want to make sure yeah I've pulled the backing off okay so he moves and then let's put a couple of dimensionals on my sentiment. And there we go. There's our barn door over the moon theater card. You can find a link to the basics of putting together a theater card in the description below. You can purchase all of this current Stampin' Up! products through my link below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this card. And have a great day. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com. Bye!